Hmm, so I don't get it. I haven't used native script a lot, but uh, recently what happened is I came across this article which native script had written um, back in July last year in 20 back in June actually um, which uh, is basically targeted on Airbnb would Airbnb have fared better with native script instead of react native so I used to think of native script as you know just another framework out there in the wild to create native mobile applications pretty much similar to what we have right now react native flutter stuff like that but uh, when I tried to give it a read I honestly believe they do address a lot of things properly which were a problem with the react native um, uh, at least what Airbnb mentioned in their video and uh, uh, they do address it quite uh, effectively like native script is uh, built solidly on top of angular that's one point well that's what's not really a problem but uh, second thing it comes out of typescript support out of the box which react native do now but uh, you know back in the day it was not there native sh native script ships with google's v8 which is a huge thing react native still ships with an older jsc on android um as far as i can remember so that's a win there um native script actually also exposes exposes native apis directly to the javascript world which as i can say react native does not do that what react native do is it follows a bridge communication model which we have discussed in depth right so native script actually how it does that is pretty much just like how your browser communicates with operating system so if you write something like you know um if you write something like let's say set set timeout and hit enter you see that you actually get a native code implementation so this is pretty much running a native code which is not javascript code but actually c or c plus plus code of the browser so on a similar basis native script exposes native apis to uh, the runtime of javascript which react native does not do at the moment it works on bridge model as we explained but react is also working on a similar model which is um turbo modules uh, as the name goes and for the ui part it's react native flutter which we have already discussed but uh, i'm actually surprised whatever react is doing react native is doing native script has pretty much done it um at least in theory i don't know if this breaks on production on stuff like that but at least they these guys sound good right and uh, taking a look at their github repository we could also see that um, they do have around 400 open issues at the moment which is not really a problem but they do these guys do have 4200 closed issues so you're pretty much guaranteed to have all the basic errors covered right can't say a lot about this until i try it myself in some pretty complex projects not really that much complex also but i'm pretty impressed by the architecture and how native script actually works and uh, it's it's quite different from react native so i'm really interested in giving it this a try and uh, see what happens so i might be giving native script a web series this month after I experiment with it a little so on native scripts roadmap we see that native script is shipped with angular by default you can actually just do vanilla javascript vanilla typescript as well with native script but angular is obviously the choice view i think is community backed for native script right now but they are trying to do it themselves as well so native script comes with webpack that's one another good thing comes with v8 that's another bonus point and uh, plus it's native 
you can natively call you can actually natively call java apis or you know objective c or swift apis i think they, these guys also use objective c yeah so you can actually you can actually write this code inside javascript so that's pretty cool right and uh, obviously these guys do not really work on bridge they have actually exposed java and, and swift apis and make it available to the javascript runtime using um, v8 hooks and stuff whatever these guys are doing but it's pretty cool so i think we should give native script a try what do you think about native script if you have used it let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe so that you are you're notified about um, any native script content i roll out in the future so let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you then pretty soon with some native script awesome stuff hopefully